Hello everyone. Welcome to Jawad Sumbro Productions. In this tutorial, you will learn about the object styles option that is called text frame auto size option. Let's get started. What is auto size option? In InDesign, the auto size options control how a text frame resizes when text is added or deleted. There are five options. Off, the text frame does not resize. Height only, the text frame resizes only in height to fit the text. Width only, the text frame resizes only in width to fit the text. Height and width, the text frame resizes in both height and width to fit the text. Height and width key proportions. The text frame resizes in both height and width to fit the text. But the proportions of the text frames are maintained. Why should we use auto size options? In Adobe InDesign, the purpose of using auto size options is to save time and effort by automatically resizing text frames to fit the text they contain. This can be especially helpful when you are working with long or complex documents or when you're creating the layouts that require a lot of text. How to use auto size options? The auto size options can be used to control the appearance of text frames. To access the auto size options, select a text frame, then go to Object, then choose Text Frame Options. Shortcut key is Control B. You will be able to see these four types of tabs in this window General, Baseline Options. Auto size and footnotes. Today I'm only going to work on auto size. Click the auto size checkbox and select an option from the menu. By default, auto sizing is turned off. However, you can turn it on anytime. Click on this drop down menu. You can see off, height only, width only, height and width, and height and width with proportion. You can also use the anchor proxy to specify where the text frame resizes from. This anchor proxy is a small icon that appears in the center of the text frame. When the auto size option is enabled, make sure your preview is checked. If not, click here. Click on the anchor proxy and drag it to a different location to change the reference point for resizing. You can use the height only option to create a text frame that always has the same height, regardless of the amount of text it contains. This can be useful for creating a consistent look for a document, such as a newsletter or a brochure. Now, when I set this to height only, then I would be able to change the reference points on this proxy adjacent to each other, up and down. As I change the points, text frame will move accordingly with respect to height. You can use width only option to create a text frame that always has the same width regardless of the amount of text it contains. This can be useful for creating a text box that will fit in a specific space, such as a sidebar or a caption. Now, when I set this to width only, then I would be able to change the reference points on this proxy, adjacent to each other, left and right. As I change the points, text frame will move accordingly with respect to width. You can use the height and width option to create a text frame that resizes to fit the text it contains. This can be useful for creating a text box that will always be readable, regardless of the amount of text it contains. Now, when I set this to width and height, then I would be able to change the reference points on this proxy in all directions. As I change the points, text frame will move accordingly with respect to width and height. Keep in mind, the text frame may change its shape to fit the size. You can use height and width key proportion option to create a text frame that resizes to fit the text it contains, but the proportions of the text frame are maintained. This can be useful for creating a text box that will always look balanced, regardless of the amount of text it contains. Now, when I set this to width and height with key proportions, then I would be able to change the reference points on this proxy in all directions. As I change the points, text frame will move accordingly with respect to width and height. However, this time the shape will maintain its proportion and won't change its size. 
the minimum height and minimum width fields allow you to specify the minimum size that the text frame can be resized to. This can be useful to prevent the text frame from becoming too small and unreadable. The line breaks checkbox allows you to control where the line breaks are automatically inserted when the text frame is resized. If this checkbox is unchecked, the text will be wrapped to fit the text frame. But lines break will not be inserted. I hope this tutorial helped you learn about this auto size object style option in Adobe InDesign. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will reply you as soon as possible. You can email me at javasumro1988 at gmail.com. Follow my Facebook page over here, Javasumro Productions. Follow my Instagram page over here, Javasumro Studios. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure you subscribe. If you enjoyed this tutorial, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. If you never want to miss any updates, click that notification bell icon. Now, I will see you in the next tutorial. Goodbye and take care.